In this video, we'll talk about how to type binomial coefficients that look like this. Now, normally, if you want just a simple superscript or a subscript, it is very easy to do. You just need a caret and an underscore. But if you want a superscript in front of the number, it is a little bit more tricky. So there are actually two ways to do it. The, there's a long way and there's a short way. So the long way is just using some of the basics of the unit codes we have introduced in one of the previous videos, which we'll, you can see in the link below. So let's first learn how to get the scripts in front of the C. So do an open brackets and underscore double quotes and not double quote and do another caret and double quote and double quote again. Now you'll get two placeholders in front of the C. Okay, what if you don't want the bottom one? Then repeat the same process, but in the underscore, put a space between the two double quotes like this. And then um, we can put say four and two on the other placeholders and we'll have this nicely done here. But as you can see, this is quite cumbersome to type, and as uh, a lot of power users will tell you, if you need something that is over two or three clicks away, you set up a shortcut for it. So here's how you can set up a shortcut. So first of all, uh, this is the result, how it will look. So all I have to do is type choose, and then space, and it will give me the template. And I can go in and just substitute in the numbers. Or alternatively, I can type in my shortcut, choose, and then I can actually modify, insert my numbers in line first, and then go to the end and hit space and compile it directly. So I don't have to go back into filling in the numbers. So here's how you set it up. So first you need to create a general template so that uh, when you type in whatever your shortcut syntax for it, it'll pull up that template. And then now uh, what you need to do is to highlight this equation so you can hover above it and then click on the little uh, three dots on the left over there, and I like to right click and also go and copy this just in case, but technically just highlighting will do. Now go to tools and then go to autocorrect options, and then find math autocorrect, and then you'll see what you highlighted is already in the width box. And you can type in whatever you want to replace with, so uh, let's call this choose, um, since it's a for choose to kind of function, and click add. And you'll see that it has added into the list of uh, math autocorrects. So now you can actually try this out and use your shortcut. You can create the equation environment. Now you can just type your uh, syntax, choose, and do a space right after. It will pull out that template. And you can go in and modify it and fill in the numbers you need. And as we mentioned in the beginning, the quicker way is actually just after you type in your syntax, hit space and then fill in the numbers you need in line first, if you know where they go, and then type space. And there you have it. So hope this is helpful, hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you like more videos like this, please consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll have more tips and tricks in typing in Microsoft Word for you. And feel free to hit the like button as well, so more people can see this, and leave a comment below if you have any questions, and as always, have a nice day.